Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to be looking at profit and loss. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is the profit, right? And here it says in business, investors use their current assets and skills to design a product for sale. The money made after taking all expenses into consideration is called the profit. All right, guys. So we'll have a formal definition here. It says a profit is a financial gain, especially the difference between the amount earned and the amount spent in buying, operating and producing a product. All right. So we have a formula here and it says the profit is equal to the selling price minus the cost price. Right. So here we have the abbreviation for selling price minus the cost price. OK. So it's really simple. Right. This is the simplified version of exactly what a profit is. And I'm sure you've made some type of profit in your life. I'm sure you've bought something and sold it back for more. You know, buy a pen for $50 and sell it for $100. Uh, everyone has made a profit in some way, you know. So let's look at an example now, guys. Okay. All right, guys. So we'll have a wonderful example here. So let's look at this. It says, Michael, right? Michael sells 2,000 Jolly Ranchers at $20 each. The cost price of each Jolly Rancher is $3. Calculate the profit per item and the overall profit that Michael earned. Okay? So he bought each Jolly Rancher for $3 each, right? And he's selling them at $20 each. And they ask you to calculate the profit per item. So that's the profit per one item sold and the overall profit that Michael earned. Okay. All right. So let's use the, the formula, right? It said the, the profit, right? The profit is equal to the, the selling price right minus the cost price cool so in this case the selling price that's right so the selling price is actually equal to twenty dollars right because he sold them for twenty dollars each and the cost price the cost price is actually equal to three dollars that's what he bought them for cool so to find the profit per item cool all we need is a selling price for one item, which is $20, minus the cost price for one item, which is $3. Cool. So we're going to end up with $17. So Michael made $17 per on the profit per item. So on each item he sells, he makes $17 profit. Cool. So let's write it out here. Profit per item. Okay, cool. So now they asked also for the overall profit that Michael earned. Cool. So if he earned $17 per item, right? If his profit is $17 per item, then his total profit, right? Which is the overall profit, right? His overall profit would be the price per item, right? The profit per item, which is the $17, multiplied by the number of items, which is $2,000. Not $2,000, 2,000 items because he sold 2,000 of them, right? So, cool. So, all we have to do is multiply this 17 by 2,000. So, let's do that up here. We have 2,000 multiplied by 17. All right, cool. So let's multiply this 17 by the 2000. So seven times zero is zero. Seven times zero here is also zero. Seven times zero here is zero. And seven times two is 14. Cool. Then this one here, there should be a placeholder for zero here. One times zero is zero. One times zero is zero. One times zero is also zero. And then we have a two here. Cool. So when we add these, we actually end up with 
three and four zero 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 so the total profit he made is actually thirty four thousand dollars right which is actually pretty good cool so just showing some of you guys an idea maybe you guys should start selling jolly ranchers and making some extra money to carry home right but it's a good example i like this example because i actually used to sell jolly ranchers in high school so it's a great example to show you how you can calculate your profit if you buy and sell items cool all right so let's look at another example now hey guys we're back into it and we're looking at the second example here and it says a young man decides to sell golf balls right he decides to sell golf balls at the local golf club close to his home right he bought 200 golf balls at two dollars us each and decides to sell them at ten dollars each calculate his profit per item and his total profit cool so this is just like the previous example except uh, the figures are in US okay so we we'll have to use the same formula the profit the profit is equal to the selling price minus the cost price right cool so in this case if we want the profit per item we need the selling price per item and we need the cost price per item right and we already have those because the selling price for each item is equal to ten dollars us right and the cost price is equal to two dollars he bought them at two dollars each two dollars us each cool all right so let's just calculate the profit per item then so we're gonna get ten dollars minus two dollars cool all right so the answer should be eight dollars per item okay all right nice cool so that's the profit per item eight dollars each and let's find out what the the total profit is for selling all the 200 golf balls right so to find the total profit what we would have to do is we would have to multiply the profit per item which is the eight dollars that he gains in profit per item multiplied by the 200 golf balls right so let's just calculate that right here 200 multiplied by eight let's draw a line here eight times zero gives us zero eight times zero gives us zero eight times two gives us 16. so the answer is actually sixteen hundred dollars cool so this is how much he gained per selling for selling golf balls per item right awesome so he earned a lot of money selling golf balls though you know it just shows you guys you can you can do a little hustle and earn some money too sometimes you know all right guys so i don't really think we need any more examples we're going to do a lot more examples in the in the next videos so we're going to move on to losses now okay so let's move on to loss right what is a loss awesome all right guys great awesome so back in it guys we're looking at losses this time right and i'm sure everyone has taken a loss in their life okay you've lost a chess game or you've lost a football match you know for girls you've probably lost a netball game everybody has lost before and knows what it feels like but let's look at the example in business right there are times in business when business people have to sell the product at a lower price than they paid for it due to damage or simply the item is just out of style right and the amount of money the company loses is called a loss okay and we have the formula here the loss is equal to the cost price minus the selling price right 
So loss is equal to the cost price minus the selling price. Very simple, just like the profit. So because what you sold it for is less than the cost of what you paid for it, that's what the loss would end up being. The amount that you paid for it minus the amount that you sell for it, right? Okay, you're selling it for less than you bought it for. Cool? So let me just give you a formal definition down here. All right, guys, so this is a more formal definition. Uh, it's just like what it says up here. The amount of money a company loses is called a loss. But this is more formal, and it says a loss is the amount of money lost by a business or organization. Okay? So I think we all know... I think we all know the feeling of taking a L, okay? And it's okay to take a L sometimes, guys. You know, you're not always going to win. Uh, it's just how you bounce back from that L, you know what I mean? So let's look at some examples now to see examples of people taking a loss in business, all right? All right, guys, so we're back in it, and we're looking at this nice little example here. Um, this is example one for losses, right? And it says, Aristotle decides to sell his wisdom books for $3,000. Unfortunately, the cost of printing the item is $3,500. But he really wants to print his books so people can hear his message, right? Calculate the loss he, he incurs on each book, all right? So that's really sad about Aristotle, but... It, you know, he really wants to print his books because he needs to get his wisdom out there. Cool. So let's look at the uh, formula, right? We're going to try to calculate the loss he incurs, right? And remember, the loss is equal to the cost price, right? Minus the selling price, right? Cool. Yeah, let's put a V here. The cost price minus the selling price. So the loss for Aristotle here is actually $3,500, okay? Because it costs him $3,500 $3, to print each book. And the selling price is actually equal to $3,000 because that's how much he's selling the book for. Cool. So we're going to end up with $3,500 here. Right, let's say this is in Jamaican dollars, right? Minus three thousand dollars, which is the selling price. So the loss that Aristotle incurs on each book is five hundred dollars. Okay, and this actually happens, you know, guys. Like this is actually a, a good example. Um, there are a lot of authors who don't really make much money on their books. Because the just just the whole printing situation really erodes the profits a lot. So I think this is a good example. And let's let's look at another example. Let's look at two examples and then we'll be finished. Alright guys, so we're back in it and we're looking at uh, another example here. Alright. So we're looking at the second example here for losses. And it says, a farmer sells bananas for a living, and each month he sells $25,000 worth of produce, right? In maintaining the farm, he spends $30,000 a month, right, to ensure the bananas have the right fertilizer and atmosphere to grow. Calculate the loss he incurs each month, okay? Guys, this is like a really good example. Like, there are a lot of farmers, especially in Jamaica, where they don't even know how much they're earning. Like they just plant, buy the fertilizer, put the stuff on the farm, and then they just sell off everything. You know, <laughs> they just sell everything, not realizing that they're not making any money. Um, this is a common thing for farmers across the world, actually, not just in Jamaica. Uh, it happens in India, it happens in Africa, it happens all over the world uh, when it comes to farming because farming takes a lot of. It actually takes a lot of business sense to do farming, all right? So let's calculate the loss, right? The loss that this farmer incurs. So the loss is equal to 
the cost price, right, minus the selling price. Cool. And in this in this case, the cost price is equal to the thirty thousand dollars because that's how much it costs this guy to maintain the farm. He doesn't really realize this, but it, this really happens, you know. And a lot of farmers end up so broke doing this. And the selling price is equal to twenty-five thousand because that's how much bananas he sells each each month. Cool. So uh, let's calculate the loss here. So the cost price is thirty thousand dollars, and the selling price is twenty-five thousand dollars. Cool. So when we subtract those, let's just put some dollar signs. When we subtract those, we end up getting a $5,000 loss each month, okay? And these losses can really add up. You know, I've seen farmers go through this. These losses can add up, okay? <laughs> they can really add up, you know what I mean, bro? Like, that's why I put a lean face because you don't want to take too many losses. It's okay to take losses sometimes. Because you learn, as long as you learn from your losses in life, guys, that's the best thing. Learn from it and make sure that next time you don't buy so much fertilizer and you earn a profit. But you want to focus on not getting a loss every time in business. There are a lot of business people who you even see out there. They're taking losses every month, every single month, okay? Um, just because they're just not managing their expenses right. And that's the main thing as a business person. You need to be able to manage your expenses. All right. So this was, not, this was a nice uh, discussion. I really like this topic, guys. And everyone is going to take a loss sometime in their life. But just learn from it to make sure you can make the profits right in the future. It's always good to make profits, and it's always good to win, but don't be afraid to lose. All right, guys? Don't be afraid to lose. All right, so I'll see you in the next lecture, guys, and thank you so much. All right, guys, so that's it, and I'll see you in the next lecture, and remember to do your best, and God will do the rest.